what is going on guys my name is Hazik and welcome back to another COD Top 5. Now in this episode we are going to be counting down the top 5 best power ups in zombies history. And just before we start guys I want to say that I am not going to include the Bonda fire sale power up uh, because in my opinion it is not really um, uh, worth you know mentioning in this video because it's only exclusive to 5 and uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna give kind of an honorable mention to it. Um, but yeah, that's how it's gonna be. Anyways guys, starting off with number 5, we have the good old nuke. So the nuke can be useful and sometimes it can just annoy you. It can be useful when uh, some of your teammates are down and uh, that nuke just drop right there and you just go pick it up and uh, you're good to revive your teammates and even to do something for another 8 seconds. It basically lets you chill out and calm down just a little bit. On the other hand, uh, some of your annoying teammates decides to uh, really annoy you and picks up the nuke in the middle of a round where you're set uh, to go and just get a lot of coins and he's just like no man I'm, I'm, I'm taking the nuke and then all the zombies are gone but you're rewarded with 400 points I mean isn't that great but anyways nuke comes in at number five moving down to the number four spot we have the double points and I know I know you're all probably uh, now like uh, oh my god double points seriously dude I mean it doubles your points it doubles your money I mean that's always useful I mean uh, are you are you stupid or something but wait a second guys, let me explain myself. So, in the starting rounds, I mean in the early game, it is very, very useful, especially if you get those double points at round 2 or 3, where you can just max out your points to 6,000 or 5,000 points. I mean, that's incredible, that gets you pretty much set for the game. But when you're on round 40, and you have like 70,000 points, and you get the double points, and you're like, man, I mean, I would have... I would rather have like a max ammo or maybe headshots, insta kill or whatever. I mean, it's it's not very useful at high rounds. However, the nuke can sometimes be useful at high rounds, but you know, double points just a lot more better because it can reward you with a lot more points. That's why uh, double points is at number four, not nuke. Nuke only gives you 400 points, but with double points, nuke gives you 800 points. So yeah, double points deserves deserves this place I mean it's 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 okay guys but anyways let's move down to the number three spot coming in at number three guys we have insta kill so insta kill is kind of like double points but uh, only backwards so the insta kill is uh, very useful at high rounds but it is not useful at low rounds so with the insta kill you don't earn as much money as you would earn without the insta kill because how you earn points by shooting the zombies is you earn 10 points per every hit with a bullet and then once you kill a zombie you earn like 130 score with the headshots uh with the insta kill or headshots whatever you want to call them you get 60 points for i believe uh killing them and 130 uh for killing them I mean if that if that makes sense guys I don't know but it doesn't give you as much as as you could actually get without that insta kill but on high rounds of course it's a lot more useful just you can speed run through the rounds without like uh, waiting a whole lot of time I mean the insta kill does really help uh, on the high rounds basically that's that's all you have to know guys but anyways moving down to the number two spot coming in at number two guys we have perk bottle drop so this basically explains itself so the first thing that's good about this perk uh, or this drop is that it could give you more than four perks on a map which is uh, sometimes really hard but with this thing it's pretty easy and the second thing that is good about this is that you might get a juggernaut on an early round I mean imagine yourself having a juggernaut on round two or three this basically means that you have saved two and a half thousand points and you can spend them on a mystery box or maybe save up for a future pack-a-punch that is amazing I mean sometimes you can get perks like mule kick that are not very useful or maybe PhD flopper when you're not even having an explosive weapon but that's alright 
having an extra perk was never a problem for me and I believe for anyone else as well guys but anyways Perkaball comes in at number two and finally guys we have made it to the first spot on our list and it is the max ammo I mean it's obvious max ammo is the best drop out there so far that we know of uh, but I don't think there's gonna be any other drop that could beat this I mean without ammo you cannot kill zombies which is uh, the purpose of this game mode basically so yeah uh, max ammo I mean there's no, really nothing to say about it it just max maxes your your ammunition out basically when you run out of ammo on high rounds you don't have to buy a new weapon you can just wait for a max ammo and then you will refill your magazines and you're good to go I mean that's that's simple as that guys you all know what max ammo does guys but anyways if you have enjoyed this video then please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this guys and please make sure to check out my last top five i'll have a link in the description to it or you can click the annotation on the screen right now guys thank you all for watching have a great wonderful day and i'll catch you in the next video peace out